Holy Land and the Four Holy Cities. Israel officially known as the State of Israel is a country in Western Asia. It is situated on the southeastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea and the northern shore of the Red Sea, and shares borders with Lebanon to the north, Syria to the northeast, Jordan on the east, the Palestinian territories of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip to the east and west, respectively, and Egypt to the southwest. Tel Aviv is the economic and technological center of the country, while its seat of government and proclaimed capital is Jerusalem, although international recognition of the state's sovereignty over the city is limited. The land was controlled as a mandate of the British Empire from 1920 to 1948, having been ceded by the Ottomans at the end of the First World War. The Second World War saw the mandate bombed heavily. Once the British agreed to supply arms and form a Jewish brigade in 1944, Yeshuv Jews officially entered the conflict on the side of the Allies. At the end of the war, amidst growing tensions with the conflict-weary British, the United Nations UN, eager to appease both Arab and Jewish factions, adopted a partition plan for Palestine in 1947 recommending the creation of independent Arab and Jewish states, and an internationalized Jerusalem. The plan was accepted by the Jewish agency but rejected by Arab leaders. The oldest evidence of early humans in the territory of modern Israel, dating to 1.5 million years ago, was found in Obadia near the Sea of Galilee. Other notable Paleolithic sites include the caves Taban, Kesem, and Minot. The oldest fossils of anatomically modern humans found outside Africa are the Skulenkov Dze hominins, who lived in the area that is now northern Israel 120,000 years ago. Around 10th millennium BCE, the Nachfion culture existed in the area. With successive Persian rule, the autonomous province Yehud Medinato was gradually developing back into urban society, largely dominated by Judeans. The Greek conquests largely skipped the region without any resistance or interest. Incorporated into the Ptolemaic and finally the Seleucid empires, the southern Levant was heavily Hellenized, building the tensions between Judeans and Greeks. The conflict erupted in 167 BCE with the Maccabean Revolt, which succeeded in establishing an independent Hasmonean kingdom in Judah, which later expanded over much of modern Israel, as the Seleucids gradually lost control in the region. The Holy Land is an area located between the Mediterranean Sea and the eastern bank of the Jordan River. Traditionally, it is synonymous both with the Biblical Land of Israel and with the region of Palestine. The term Holy Land usually refers to a territory roughly corresponding to the modern state of Israel, the Palestinian territories, western Jordan, and parts of southern Lebanon and southwestern Syria. Jews, Christians, and Muslims regard it as holy. Part of the significance of the land stems from the religious significance of Jerusalem, the holiest city to Judaism, and the location of the first and second temples, as the historical region of Jesus' ministry, and as the site of the first Qibla of Islam. As well as the site of the Isra and Miraj. The Isra and Miraj are the two parts of an eye journey that, according to Islam, the Prophet Muhammad, 570-632, took during a single night around the year 621. Within Islam it signifies both a physical and spiritual journey. A brief sketch of the story is in the Quran Surah al-Isra, while greater detail is found in the Hadith, later collections of the reports, teachings, deeds and sayings of Muhammad. In the Isra part of the journey, Muhammad is said to have traveled on the back of the winged steed Barak to Al-Aqsa Mosque where he leads other prophets in prayer. In the next part of the journey, the Miraj, he ascends into heaven where he speaks to God, who gives Muhammad instructions to take back to the faithful regarding the details of prayer. The journey and ascent are marked as one of the most celebrated dates in the Islamic calendar. The holiness of the land as a destination of Christian pilgrimage contributed to launching the Crusades, as European Christians sought to win back the Holy Land from Muslims, who had conquered it from the Christian Eastern Roman Empire in the 630s. 
In the 19th century, the Holy Land became the subject of diplomatic wrangling as the Holy Places played a role in the Eastern Question which led to the Crimean War in the 1850s. The Crimean War was a military conflict fought from October 1853 to February 1856 in which Russia lost to an alliance of France, the Ottoman Empire, the United Kingdom and Sardinia. The immediate cause of the war involved the rights of Christian minorities in Palestine, which was part of the Ottoman Empire. The French promoted the rights of Roman Catholics, and Russia promoted those of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Longer-term causes involved the decline of the Ottoman Empire, the expansion of the Russian Empire in the preceding Russo-Turkish Wars, and the British and French preference to preserve the Ottoman Empire to maintain the balance of power in the concert of Europe. It has widely been noted that the causes, in one case involving an argument over a key, 10, had never revealed a greater confusion of purpose but led to a war that stood out for its notoriously incompetent international butchery. Many sites in the Holy Land have long been pilgrimage destinations for adherents of the Abrahamic religions, including Jews, Christians, Muslims, and Baha'is. Pilgrims visit the Holy Land to touch and see physical manifestations of their faith, to confirm their beliefs in the holy context with collective excitation, and to connect personally to the Holy Land. Researchers consider that the concept of a land made holy by being the earthly dwelling of the God of Israel was present in Judaism at the latest by the time of Zechariah, 1st century BCE. Jews commonly refer to the land of Israel as the Holy Land The term Holy Land is further used twice in the Deuterocanonical books, Wisdom 12.3, the holiness of the land of Israel is generally implied in the Tanakh by the land being given to the Israelites by God, that it is the promised land, an integral part of God's covenant. In the Torah, many mitzvot commanded to the Israelites can only be performed in the land of Israel. The Torah includes the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, named, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Torah means the same as Pentateuch or the five books of Moses. It is also known in the Jewish tradition as the written Torah. However, the word Torah can also be used as a synonym for the Hebrew Bible or Tanakh, in which sense it includes not only the five first but all 24 books of the Hebrew Bible. If in bound book form, it is called Chumash, and is usually printed with the rabbinic commentaries. From the perspective of the 1906 Jewish Encyclopedia, the holiness of Israel had been concentrated since the 16th century, especially for burial, in the four holy cities, Jerusalem, Hebron, Safed and Tiberias, as Judaism's holiest cities. Jerusalem, as the site of the Temple, is considered especially significant. Sacred burials are still undertaken for diaspora Jews who wish to lie buried in the holy soil of Israel. According to Jewish tradition, Jerusalem is Mount Moriah, the location of the binding of Isaac. The Hebrew Bible mentions the name Jerusalem 669 times, often because many mitzvot can only be performed within its environs. The name Zion which usually refers to Jerusalem, but sometimes the land of Israel, appears in the Hebrew Bible 154 times. The holy cities of Judaism are the cities of Jerusalem, Hebron, Safed and Tiberias which were the four main centers of Jewish life after the Ottoman conquest of Palestine. Jerusalem has been the holiest city in Judaism and the spiritual center of the Jewish people since the 10th century BC when the site was chosen during the lifetime of King David to be the location of the Holy Temple. The Cave of the Patriarchs in Hebron is believed to be the burial place of the Jewish patriarchs, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebekah and Jacob and Leah. As such Hebron is the second holiest city to Jews, and is one of the four cities where Israelite biblical figures purchased land. Abraham bought a field and a cave east of Hebron from the Hittites, Genesis 23 16-18. King David bought a threshing floor at Jerusalem from the Jebusite Arana, 2 Samuel 24 24. Jacob bought land outside the walls of Shechem from the Shechemites. Genesis 33 18 to 19, 
and Omri bought the site of Samaria. Historically, Hebron is the first capital of King David. As such Hebron is the second holiest city to Jews, and is one of the four cities where Israelite biblical figures purchased land. Abraham bought a field and a cave east of Hebron from the Hittites, Genesis 23 16-18. King David bought a threshing floor at Jerusalem from the Jebusite Arana, 2 Samuel 24 24. Jacob bought land outside the walls of Shechem from the Shechemites. Genesis 33:18-19, and Omri bought the site of Samaria. Historically, Hebron is the first capital of King David. Safed came to be regarded as a holy city after the influx of Jews following the expulsion of Jews from Spain in 1492 and became known as a center of Kabbalistic scholarship. Tiberias was significant in Jewish history as the place where the Jerusalem Talmud was composed and as the home of the Masoretes but its status as a holy city is due to the influx of rabbis who established the city as a center for Jewish learning in the 18th and 19th centuries. According to Jewish tradition, the redemption will begin in Tiberias and the Sanhedrin will be reconstituted there. In Jewish belief, the Messiah will arise from the lake of Tiberias, enter into the city, and be enthroned at Safed on the summit of a lofty hill. The Talmud mentions the religious duty of populating Israel. So significant in Judaism is the act of purchasing land in Israel, the Talmud allows for the lifting of certain religious restrictions of Sabbath observance to further its acquisition and settlement. Rabbi Yohanan said that whoever walks four cubits in Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel is guaranteed entrance to the world to come. A story says that when R. Eliezer B. Shamua and R. Yohanan HaSandler left Israel to study from R. Judah ben Bathira, they only managed to reach Sidon when the thought of the sanctity of Palestine overcame their resolution, and they shed tears, rent their garments, and turned back. Due to the Jewish population being concentrated in Israel, emigration was generally prevented, which resulted in a limiting of the amount of space available for Jewish learning. However, after suffering persecutions in Israel for centuries after the destruction of the Temple, rabbis who had found it very difficult to retain their position moved to Babylon, which offered them better protection. Many Jews wanted Israel to be the place where they died, in order to be buried there. The sage Rabbi Anon said to be buried in Israel is like being buried under the altar. The saying his a land will absolve his people implies that burial in Israel will cause one to be absolved of all one's sins. Christianity has a strong tradition of pilgrimages, both to sites relevant to the New Testament narrative and to sites associated with later saints or miracles. On January 4, 1964, Paul VI made the first visit of a reigning pontiff to the Holy Land. It was a one-day visit to Jerusalem. On April 20, 1984, John Paul II fully recognized the Jewish nation and on March 21, 2000 he made the first five days pilgrimage of a pope in Israel. The land of Israel is considered holy because of its association with the birth, ministry, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus.